Hello everyone, this is Yuri, and welcome back. So, in this part, we're going to begin uh, creating the controls and things for the uh, face rig. Uh, before we get to that, we're going to make the um, you're going to make eyelids for them, give them some bones to control those, and uh, yeah. So, uh, before we do that, I want to show you what we're going to be working towards, which is this right here. So these eyelids, they move eyes up and down. Mouth here moves the mouth wherever we need to. If you move it on the x-axis at least. Rotating this gives him a smirk, sneer, smile, frown, sneer open smirk open these do the same on the other side mouth closed mouth open mouth O W and that's pretty much it for the face rig um, there you know you could go pretty crazy with uh, the amount of uh, control shapes you're, you make for your face rig, but this is going to be real simple. He sh you should be able to make him talk at the very least with this. So, let's get started. I'm going to go turn on my overlays. There we go. Control tab. G, Alt R, Alt S. Uh, I always forget this, and they're gonna take. Oh, good, they're already here. Let's grab the mesh here. Zero out the shape key translations. We're actually gonna grab these two circles here and delete them. And we're gonna move this back into place. So. Uh, now what we're going to do uh, is uh, we're going to create the eyelids. So let's go here to the eye mesh and we're actually going to call this the eye mesh. I guess we'll call these eyeballs. Let's make sure all of our objects are named. Just to organize everything better, I want to move all the meshes. We'll call this mesh collection. And we'll call this. Alright, so go out of these collections here. We should have mesh rig. Great. Select this. Tab into edit mode. Go to face select mode. Three. Select all these faces. Go to wireframe, make sure we have all of them. Then you want to shift D to duplicate, right click, P, separate by selection tab back in the object mode. 
Select this new mesh. I'm gonna call these eyelids. We're going to apply the mirror modifier. Move the armature modifier on top of the subdivision surface. Tab into edit mode. Go to edge select mode. V separate these edges in the center. And then G and X just move them so that they intersect each other. Next, we're going to add a solidify modifier. And we're going to increase the thickness on the negative sides until they cover the eyeballs, like so. Then we're going to add a shrink wrap modifier. And the group is going to be on the eye. And we're going to move this above everything that's not the armature modifier. And then we could probably increase the thickness a bit more. There we go. I'm going to tap into edit mode and select everything. We're going to G and Z and move it up. Boom. So the eyelids are now out of view. And there we have it. So those are the eyelid meshes. Now, to rig them properly. Let's go here to our armature and we'll grab one of the quill bones. Shift D to duplicate, rotate 90 degrees on the X axis. For rotate. Uh, now we want the Z axis pointing forward and the Y axis pointing up. So control R to rotate, and rotate that till we get it. R, rotate up. Control R to move the roll, and there we go. That's perfect. Awesome. So, we have our eyelid bones now, and we're going to name them as such. So, we're going to call this eyelid ctrl.l, and then we control C, control V. R. Uh, also, make sure these are parented to the head, which they are. Next, you want to get rid of the custom widgets that they have. So go into uh, pose mode and select the bone. Go here, delete the widget. We're going to add our own custom widget. And to do that, Select the bone, shift S, cursor to select it. Control tab, shift A, mesh, circle. When we go to add circle, we want to turn this to 12. And we're gonna turn on our axes so we can see the rotational axes of our circle. We want the rotational axes of our object to match the rotational axes of our bone. So Y is pointing up, Z is pointing front and back, X is pointing side to side. So we want it the same, be the same on here. So RAR, rotate, 90, done. Next, scale this down a little bit. And we want to name this eyelid ctrl.l. Actually, we want to name this ICTRL shape. And we're going to go back to our armature, control tab, go to our display, type in eyelid CTRL shape, and here we go. So we're going to go on the wireframe so we can see this. In object mode, scale your control shape down so it matches the size in edit mode. And then when you tap an, uh, an into edit mode, you see when we scale and rotate, the control shape follows. So we're going to make the shape that we want to represent our eyelid. So we're gonna just a medium point, turn on the 
proportional editing. Move these over and then we can rotate them. Like so. And there you have it. So that's our shape. We want to move this to a new collection that's called CTRL Shapes. To make the other one, do the same process. Shift S, cursor to selected, tap in the object mode. We're going to grab the shape and Shift D to duplicate it. Call this R. And then we're going to shift S selection to cursor and then I'm going to move my change my pivot point to the 3d cursor I'm going to tab into edit mode SX negative one next I'm going to grab the armature again go back to the bone in pose mode grab the reverse of that shape and now it's on the opposite side we can grab we can go to our control shapes here and hide them So now we have control shapes that work with our rig. Now we have to parent the eyelids directly to the eyelid control shapes. So we go control tab, select the eyelids, or select the rig and then select the eyelids, control P, um, I guess we select the eyelids and then the rig, huh? <laughs> control P uh, with empty groups. And we can actually, we're going to delete the groups anyway, so, you know, it doesn't really matter. But delete your groups. And then for this part, we select the rig and then we select the eyelids. Control tab to go into weight paint mode. Select one eyelid and then click on the screen outside of the mesh. So do not click on your mesh. Just click here. And now you see we have eyelid control added to our vertex groups. We're going to do the same thing to the other one. Now we tab into edit mode, select one side, which is associated with the L side, and we're going to assign it to that vertex group with a weight of one. We're going to do the same thing for the reverse side. And now you see that this bone has full influence over this part of the eyelid, and this bone has full influence over uh, the, uh, this part of the eyelid. So, object mode, solid view. Grab the rig, control tab, G and Z, and you see we now have control over our eyelids going up and down. Now, we could leave it as is where we could just select both of these parts, or you know, both of these bones to move the eyelid down, uh, and then it'll do it. However, I enjoy the idea of having a control that will enable you to essentially blink the eyelids at the same time. So what we're going to do is we're going to add another bone that's going to act as the eyelid main control. So we're going to grab this bone here, shift D to duplicate it, R to rotate it, and move it up here. We're going to call this bone main eyelid CTRL and we're going to parent this bone to the head it's already parented but now we're going to parent these bones this one because we have x-axis mirror turned on you only have to select one of these bones boom so now this bone if we unlock its translation but also lock the rotation this bone then moves the other two eyelids and we're also going to lock the X and Z just so that we can't do anything side to side we can only go up and down which is what you want and we're actually going to lock those axes on these as well off I have no idea why it's on. Okay. 
And there we go. Now, last thing is we want to make a control shape that can, um, you know, to, re to represent the, cent the central eyelid controls here. So, we'll just shift S, cursor to selected, control tab, shift A, make another UV sphere, or not UV sphere, a circle. Uh, we're going to turn the axes on just to make sure they are where I think they are. And then we're going to RX 90 degrees. We're going to scale it down a bit. We're going to name this Main Eyelid CTRL Shape. Next, we're going to go back to the armature, select the bone, go here to Custom Object main eyelid CTRL shape go back in the object mode select this scale it down so that it matches tab in the edit mode and make your edits move it to the control shapes collection and now we have our eyelid rig so uh, that's it for this part uh, so thank you guys for watching um, and if I may I'd like to make a formal request so I've been noticing as far as the analytics of my videos that um, in about a week on average my videos get at the very least a hundred views um, however uh, they don't nearly have that many likes or you know channel engagements and I was um, well I just would like to ask you guys to engage more um, I, I would like to grow my channel um, and, um, you know, I need, but I need, I need the people that are watching my videos to tell YouTube that my videos are indeed worth, uh, being advertised. Uh, and the way, uh, that's done is if you guys, you know, are liking and, uh, sharing and subscribing. I know that's like the quintessential ask of a YouTuber, hey, can you like, share, and subscribe? And I, I get, um, some people like are like why are you your content should just be good enough for me to do it willy-nilly and that's that's fair I can't I'm not really gonna try to argue against that but I would just ask um, that uh, you guys give a brother some help you know I'm, I'm doing these videos for free and I want to continue doing them for free but I also uh, would like to you know get to, to get these videos exposed more and I need you guys to help me with that so if you guys wouldn't mind just sharing these more, um, for you know, if, if if a video has a hundred views, do we, can we can we can we shoot for at least fifty likes? <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, it, that all aside, I do really appreciate the people that have been here and watching these tutorials. Um, and stay tuned because there are you know plenty more to come. We're not quite finished yet. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and like for more. And I will see you guys in the next video.